And if Rand gets in there, he's going to be doing all the same stuff everybody else is. Should you support Rand Paul for president in 2016? Should you be breaking out the Rand Paul chants? Run, run, Rand, run! Should you be breaking out the lawn signs? Should you be trying to persuade everybody to vote for Rand? I mean, imagine everything that Rand could do. Right? He could uh, free all of the people who are in cages for victimless crimes. He could get us uh, out of all the wars, bring home the troops and the drone attacks, right? Wrong. He might be able to convince us if he gets into office that he's doing great things. Just like Obama has already convinced most people that he has ended the war in Iraq, that he's uh, not doing drone strikes. No, how could he? That there is no domestic spying program. <laughs> No, that's, that's a good one, Barack. But the fact is, at the end of the day, that uh, power corrupts. And absolute power corrupts absolutely. And if Rand gets in there, he's going to be doing all the same stuff everybody else is. Now, he'll have a great uh, public relations team that will convince you uh, that that's not true. But uh, the problem is not getting the right person into that position of absolute power. The problem is that such a position of absolute power exists. We need to disperse power, not concentrate it further, and not fight over who the right guy to have that kind of power is. Now, uh, you know, some of you probably would like to pull me aside and be like, no, but George, listen, really, he's our guy, and you know, you, you know, you, he'll do great things, and uh, no, really, he's different. And, uh, and he might be, I'm sure he's different, but that doesn't mean that he's actually going to um, do anything different from anybody else. The left thought Barack Obama was their special guy back in 2008. But the fact is, and, and he, he might have been a little bit, uh, but the fact is he turned out just like the rest of them. He's Bush's uh, third and fourth terms. Um, he has, has taken things way, way crazy. Oh, but Barack's different, you know. Uh, well, the fact is that every president in history was a good guy and then he got his hands on power uh, because the fact is that none of us are perfect all of us have our inner demons and all of us are subject to corruption what should we do for not you know supporting a candidate for president well you know the truth is that uh, as buddha says no one saves us but ourselves so instead of asking the politicians to do things for us let's take direct action and do those things for ourselves Let's start organizations, let's start mutual aid societies, let's start watchdog groups. And let's actually improve our own lives and the lives of those people in our communities. Let's just build powers, power bases that are outside of the government sphere, that compete with the government sphere, so that someday we can challenge this system effectively through more than its own ballot box, so that someday we can have something better than the government that we have now so that we can really achieve what our dreams are because we're not going to do it through the ballot box we're not going to do it by getting behind the latest brand name the latest member of a political family who's inevitably a part of the elite these strategies are called direct action and dual power I suggest I recommend that you google those that you look into those and that you get to work Let's do it. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com.